Hey all you TVD fans, we have some news for you guys. Um, will Damon and Stefan ever forgive? Will Damon and Stefan ever forgive Lily? Annie Wurstchen reveals the truth. Exclusive. In season six, when Vampire Diaries fans learn that Stefan and Damon's mother, Lily, was alive and trapped in a wintry prison world, they rejoice images of big bear hugs. Sunday night pancake dinners, and their mom Sharon embarrassing stories about from their childhood sprain to mine. The reunion was going to break our hearts in the best way possible. After all, they missed each other dearly and had a lot of time, lost time to make up for it. What could possibly go wrong? Um, everything. So, not, not only did the Salvatore brothers discover that their mom had abandoned them in the instant from the instant she sprouted fame in search of such of a much better life, but she also, without an ounce of shame or regret, confessed she that she preferred the company of a bunch of witch pyres to theirs. The truth stunned like a slap to the face, and Damon and Stefan quickly found themselves at odds with their matriarch. The woman who was supposed to love and care for them unconditionally, basically the instant they realized Lily had replaced them with a new family. There's been nothing but hurt and anger between them because basically when season seven comes, Lily's other family, the heretics come and they're like family hurt because they've been through with her through hell and back. Lorenzo has been there too, and that's her family now. So Damon and Stephen feel left out. I don't blame them. On that note, there might still be hope yet for them in terms of proper reconciliation. According to Annie Wilson, Lily is starting to experience pains of guilt, especially now that she knows that Julian is an awful being and that she essentially chose a madman over her sons. She feels terrible for putting them through hell and wishes to make amends with them. Will they be able to set their differences aside and trust each other again? Instead of punishing her, will Damon and Stefan let bygones be bygones and focus instead on maintaining healthy and positive relationship with her? Click out our uh, ex exclusive interview below for the details. Aloy Entertainment asks, What has surprised you most about Lily's arc in Season 7? Have you had any misconceptions about her. Annie, Annie says, I don't think I've had an, any misconceptions about her. I mean, as far as her arc in season six, she was so focused on free and her heretic family from the prison world and getting them back in order to feel whole. Thus, season seven is different in that she's living in a world that she has both the heretics and her sons. And her goal is to make it all work. I think it's important for Lily to confront and think about the choices she has made in her life. So that sort of led her to where she is. Whether it has been gone, good or bad, I have really enjoyed learning more about these discoveries. They ask a question. We love gathering but bits and pieces about Lily's past and flashback episodes. And Ian Somer Hall recently teased that he's working on a very Damon-centric Civil War-themed episode. Will, there, will this be an important episode for Lily since she would have been around at the time? She says, in the Vampire's people show up in all different areas, right? Class. So you never know where Lily's going to be pop up exactly. But I definitely got a chance to see some of the Civil War stuff, and it was just beautiful, haunting, breathtaking script of an episode. When Lily was first introduced in season six, we had such high hopes for a lovely Salvatore family reunion. And alas, that is not the case seen as how the boys recently tied their mom up during Thanksgiving. However, it seems as though Stefan is starting to warm up to his mother. Will we get to witness any tender interactions between the two of them, or will it take a while for them to forgive her for abandoning him. Well, you know, it's so interesting because Stefan and Damon have such a contrast in view of Lily. Like you said, Stefan is starting to warm up to her a bit, especially now that he's learned what life, her life was like with Gypsy. There was a lot of stuff that the kids didn't know, like how she was planning on leaving her husband and whisking in the way, I think he was developed so 
some empathy for Lily. And actually, in tonight's episode, Hold Me, Throw, throw Me, Kiss Me, Kill Me, you'll get to see one of my favorite TVD scenes from the whole year. It's such a beautiful, special, second mom moment in which he asked for her for some advice, and they had this amazing talk. They truly have a mother-son bond, even though all of this mess. Damon, of course, is a different story. He harbors such hate and resentment towards Lily and really shows no signs what, whatsoever of forgiveness. Her relationship with each of her sons right now is like night and day, but she would really like for both of them to come back in the fold. As for up now, though, it seems only Stefan is on board with the idea. These are a lot of good questions. I'm not going to ask any other ones, but I will give you a summary of what happened on the episode on Thursday. So basically, um, it was Mary Louise and Nora's 140th anniversary. Um, Mary Louise was going to ask Nora to marry her. So they actually get engaged in the episode, but then... Valerie finally tells her heretic family that she once was pregnant with Stephanie's baby, but then Julian killed the baby. And Mary Louise didn't agree. So then Nora took out the wedding ring, and now Julian, but the only sad part is, um, so now Caroline is pregnant with Alaric's magical babe, twin babies. Um, it does give you a glimpse. It gives you um, five years from now. It shows you that they are together, that they're engaged in real life. I was really shocked. I mean, I thought that her and Stefan would be together forever. But she tells Stefan he's very shocked because having a girlfriend who isn't pregnant with your child, like, he lost a child decades ago. And I felt so bad for him when he was in that moment with her, and he felt resentment. Um, but uh, I thought the most encouraging part was when he asked his mom for advice he asked her what should i do like my girlfriend is pregnant with some other man's babies um she just said do you love her he says yes and that moment when he told her she he loves her she said it too the only thing that didn't occur was damon at the end of the episode damon because lily killed herself because she thought she was still spelled with Julian's life. So now Lily died, and Stefan and her had a moment. And they had a really great moment. But then when Damon came in, he wishes her the worst. And basically they had a really tough time. So now Lily's gone, and now we got to figure out what are they going to do about Julian. The next episode is a Christmas episode because it's almost Christmas. I'm not going to read any more. There's too many questions. I'll read a little more, but... While it's been heartbreaking to witness so much tension between us all, Bob about, about, and her mom, in Damon's defense, Lily did sort of have a hand in I'm not going to read that. But coming up next, we have some news about, um, no, I'm trying to find it. No, I'm trying to find an article. Dear San Bernardino, on her, your day after. I'm not going to read that because that looks emotional. I'm trying to find something that's really good. Here. So we're going to talk about the Wiz Live, how NBC finally nailed the live musical. Thanks, guys. Bye.